Hi everyone. In today's video, I thought based on requests that I would show you how to solve this issue here, since a few of you asked me how to deal with this. Now, I understand this is annoying, but it's quite common in, in the lab. So if we examine the message here, it's cert authority invalid. And why is this happening? Well, as you've seen, basically we can just pass through. And if we click up here, we can take a look at the certificate, which is issued by the built-in certification authority on the visa. Now, the problem is that my computer does not have a trust with these uh, certification authorities. So how do we solve that? Well, you can go right down here, click download trusted root CA, but you might end up with something like this. So not perfect. So if we go back, we could actually right click and say, save link as. This will allow me to go and download it. Okay, save. Whoop. Once it's done, we can open it up. See inside, we have some certs, Windows. Now, of course, it could be used a different OS, but I'm going to demonstrate for Windows, and that's what I'm using. Inside, we have the actual certificate and a certificate revocation list, which I'm not going to use. So what we want to do is open up this certificate. Okay, this is the actual root certificate. We'll say install, local machine, next. We'll have to accept the UAC prompt. Where is it that we want to place it? The certificate store, browse. And then we want to place this in the trusted root certification authority store. Click OK, next, finish. OK, OK. And actually that's that. It should be as easy as doing that. But why don't we try and give this a close here and we can open it up again. Okay, let's see if we can log in. And this time the warning, notice there's no error up here and it says the certificate is valid. If this was sort of a real world environment, then your options would be to potentially install a real certificate that's trusted, but you could also take this certificate here and distribute it in your Active Directory environment through a group policy, for example. But that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please click like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.